okay hello friends this is yusuf here welcome to another interesting video uh, this video is going to be based on python but in ibm i okay so probably you might have know that uh, our pub 400 is also having uh, python installed so what we are going to do can we write a python program to get the current system asp okay that's what we're going to do so first let me show you what i'm talking about so we all know that uh, if you give display system status we know that the asp will be here okay so if you want to retrieve this asp right okay i want to retrieve this 55.5 so the one approach if you are a beginner what you could think of something like uh, we can do uh, display system status f4 and you can do output star print this will print if you go to work job and then for we should be able to see the uh, report as a spool file then what we can do we can just do a create pf q temp asp with record length of uh, say for example 200 it will create a flat file then i can say copy spool file qp dsp sts which is nothing but this qp dst st BSP STS and then take F4 and then just say it's going to be into the ASP of QTemp and enter. So this will copy the records into the file. Then if you go to STSQL and select star from QTemp ASP, we will be able to see the report in a file. Now since it is a file, we can just have a RRN and you can say RRN of A comma A dot star. Now we will be able to identify the each rows with its own RRN. And if you see, we need this particular piece and it is available in RRN of number four, which means if I select only uh, RRN of A equal to four, I will be seeing only one record. And here also, I'm interested in only this particular piece. Okay. So which means if I just select this, okay, I want this, right? So this is available in this particular flat file from position 110, 115, 116, 117. So 117 to another, what, seven characters. So that we can simply take with this query. Okay, so we, we are just doing a few steps to get these things manually, but what I'm gonna show you is a different thing, okay? First, uh, I'm, I already have a program called get ASP, so I'm gonna call this call get ASP, if you enter, now you'll be able to see the current ASP, okay, 55.571, okay, this is the RPGLE method. Second, I go to work link, okay, I have something called get ASP.py, it's a Python program. Now to execute this program, I'm going to QSH, okay, and then I'm just saying uh, Python 3, get, sorry, Python 3, get ASP.py. So if you call this program also, I'm getting the same result or the ASP, current ASP. So now let's see what is the program is all about. First, let me start with the RPGLE. Okay, if you go there, sorry, member, VDM, and it is the program. And you can see it's a SQL RPGLE program. So before I go into the program, right, I'll tell you another thing. So the system ASP can be retrieved through the other method as well. This is the SQL method, okay. What I'm trying to say here is actually, if you do a display system status, okay, what you're seeing is actually a display file, okay? And if it's a display file, the data will be coming from the backend. So IBM I is giving uh, giving us the opportunity to see that using something called qsys2 dot, okay, uh, sys disk, yes, okay? So if you query that, right, you'll be able to see the number of partition available in the server and you here you can see there's a percentage used column okay here it will denote how much percentage of memory is used uh, under the each partition so the system asp is nothing but it's an average of all the partitions which is being used so if you take this column right which is percentage used so if you take uh, the average of the percentage used column I should be able to get the ASP 55.57. Okay, so that is the very key point here. So the bottom line is we can get the ASP using uh, a SQL command. Now this makes our job very easy. So work member PDM. Now you you might have guessed by this now. Okay? It's a simple select statement which we just did. And then I'm just copying the, I'm just making rounding to three digit and I'm having it in a variable and I'm just displaying it. 
very simple now let's come back to the python program uh work come on come on come on work link okay so here again it's simple so what it do here actually sorry okay so here i'm doing again the same sql statement but the thing is i am calling the sql statement through the python okay so here we have this import db and so dba module this we have just seen few videos before also right how to get the uh, physical file data using python so it's the same method we are using but instead of our own physical file we are going to call the system file okay and then get the data and the data will be retrieved into the variable uh, when we do the cursor.fetch all okay and then we can just get the data from that particular thing so i think this makes sense okay it's not a big deal uh, you can try it by yourself also so that's the end of this video because people are thinking we are making python videos not much of uh, as 400 ibm steps but just wanted to know clarify that even we can do python program in as ibm also so this is one sample for that so i hope you like this video and uh, i'll be seeing in the next video for the next part of python tutorial okay thanks for watching